Hey everybody, so I have some amazing news for you guys. There is a free, yes, free version of uh, Starfield Frame Generation. That's the DLSS 3 with uh, DLSS G uh, replacing the built-in FSR 2. Oddly enough, Bethesda didn't want to do this. And obviously, people modding this in is showing massive, massive results. Basically, when I went to New Lannis, I was like at like 80, 90 FPS. I went to about 140 to 150, even up to 160 FPS. I even turned off dynamic scaling because it's like, okay, something has to be a mess here. No, it is really awesome and it works really, really well. So I'm going to show you quickly how to install this for Steam. It works both on Steam and Windows. There's instructions on here. So the link's in the description. It's also in the comments. Uh, basically, there is installation here. It's literally the same for both of them, basically. Uh, it'll tell you how to uh, find the files here on Xbox and Steam. So it should be one, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to files here. This is nice because you can kind of ignore it, especially you know what you're doing. We're going to go manual download here and then we're going to right click and do open a new tab, right click, open a new tab for these, both of these. It'll be a third party site. Then we're going to hit download here and then we're just going to do slow download. So we're going to let that download now. Do, 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 do. There you go. And then we're just going to go over to the tab here and we're going to download this guy here. There you go. And then we're going to go to the next tab. We're going to download this. And then we're, let's open the download folder. Okay, so you can see we have our three uh, zip files here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and open Steam here. We're going to library, right click, go to manage, go to browse local files. Pretty similar to what you would have on uh, Windows Store. And then we're going to open the first one, the FSR2 uh, Streamline. And we're just going to, they call it Steam uh, Streamline, but anyways, we're going to just copy this in over here. Uh, you shouldn't have to replace anything unless you've done this before. Um, and you just drop everything in there. We're going to go back and we're going to open one of the other ones. We're just going to go into Streamline now. We're going to copy the two DLL files here. Uh, just because of licensing and rules, that's why they don't include it in there. I mean, they could always do that, but that would be inappropriate. And that's why you, you do it yourself, which is one, two, three. I mean, that's easy. If you're going to ever get into modding in... Um, you know, into any other Bethesda game, including Starfield, you're going to have to learn to do a little work like that, but that's pretty simple. And then what we're going to do here is just, we're going to open up Starfield now and that's it. It's, you don't have to configure anything. It works out of the box. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to just disable my display here. Um, I have Steam UI showing up, so you'll start seeing the frames. It's a little hard to see. It's at the very top left. I'll just basically tell you what it is once we're in the game. Uh, it's 130 plus FPS right now, but it's not like you need FPS here. And then I'm using an older save just to load up uh, Jamison to test. This is how I test. And yeah, I double checked. I was getting about 80. I was getting 80 to 90 uh, you know, FPS. Obviously, it dips down to like 50, 60 FPS when you get those weird dips in the game. Um, that happens everywhere. I don't, I'm don't. i assuming everyone gets that from some points, especially when you're in like heavy combat or if we're in the game for a while. But look at that. We're just sitting here still 152 FPS at the top there. Um, which is awesome and you can see here if we look up in the sky here just for fun uh, 201 FPS uh, and I you know when you look at this place I'm usually like looking like this right so 150 150 FPS 160 FPS 167 there um, it's bloody amazing basically this is literally the FPS cure that people needed on PC and I want to just show you that I have dynamic scaling off right now. It's completely off. Now, it's up to you if you want to use sharpening or not. You want to keep FSR 2 upscaling on. They're not modifying anything where it modifies the UI. They might do that down the road. Or maybe, just maybe, the devs themselves will go ahead and fix it and uh, add DLS uh, 3 into the game, which is kind of what they should do. But as you can see, uh, normally you have dynamic resolution, especially people with lower graphics, you know, and it would, it would change this rendering scale so to give you an example 50% lower everything's blurry might be hard to tell in a video but uh, now you can see my FPS is even higher um, so if we look into the sky for fun you know it should go a little higher yeah you get maybe an extra 15 20 uh, on there but depending on your computer you might even get more uh, my, my computer is pretty overkill for that so I don't I, you know want dynamic resolution period but uh, there you go so it should come back here yeah there you go 150 
156, 160. It's it's beautiful. So that is it. That is one, two, three for you computer users. Unfortunately, you console users, um, you couldn't even use DLSS if you wanted to. Uh, it's only for NVIDIA users. Um, it's, it's just what it is. Uh, there is something called FSR3 coming, which does similar things. It's called the frame generation. So there is a chance. I don't know if Bethesda will jump on it because they're not even on one of the partnered FSR3 users. But the idea is when FSR3 comes out, at least the PC users who use the AMD cards, you should be able to see something similar uh, and get a lot more frames per second as well. And uh, even those NVIDIA users who don't have newer cards, who can't, you know, use the frame generation, you should be able to use FSR3 and reap some of those benefits. So everyone's going to win eventually. Um, even the console users will probably get FSR3 eventually, which might mean potentially getting 60 FPS on console. Uh, worst case scenario, you guys are going to get a pro version, I think, next year. And I have a feeling then they'll probably be able to kick it up to the 60 FPS for you. So either way, I hope this video helped. Please consider subscribing, commenting, liking. Near the end of this video, you'll see a Let's Play series. It is my Let's Play series. If you want to support me, watch it. Share it with your friends. I'm a small YouTuber, and I just enjoy games. And I like to share these videos and help other people uh, discover things I find. So either way, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoy uh, Starfield in lots of frames. Have a wonderful day. Bye.